What's going on, everybody? Weston Hockwitz from the Green Bay Press Gazette, joined alongside Packers beat reporter Pete Doherty. In the lead up to Thursday's NFL draft, we'll be chronicling each of the classes at various positions going into this draft. And Pete, I want to start off with defensive line. Looking at this, the Packers do have some needs there. They lost Terrell Worthy, depending on how long that ACL is going to keep him out for. Also have Ryan Pickett in the last year of his deal. B.J. Raji still with some questions. Looking at this draft class, I know a lot of experts saying that it is pretty deep. Just what have kind of your thoughts been so far on this and, and what uh, you know possibilities are out there for maybe the Packers? Yeah, I think you could argue that defensive line is the Packers' greatest need, and there's several needs, um, but I think you could argue it's the greatest one. And it looks as though the depth of this draft, one of the positions that's deep late into the first round and early into the second is defensive line. So this is a position that uh, there's probably going to be a player, a defensive lineman or two on the board when they pick at 26 who they'll have to, th to look uh, or think pretty seriously about taking. Looking at this class, Pete, I know a lot of scouts you talk to, a lot of people out there in the business are, know a lot about these kind of guys. What are some of the intriguing prospects that you've come along that, that kind of interest you? Um, well, the ones who will be available when they pick, um, there's, there's a couple guys. Uh, Sylvester Williams is a defensive lineman from North Carolina. He's a bigger, heavier guy. I think he's in the 320 range. Not quite as tall. He's like around just barely over 6'3", not quite the 6'4 to 6'5". They'd like on the 3-4 on the defensive lineman, but he's a good player, a productive player. Um, you know, some scouts think maybe a difference maker. Uh, so that's one guy they'd have to think, think of uh, taking. Another is uh, Dayton Jones of UCLA. He's more of that 6'4", 280, 290-pound type guy. Um, he'd be an end and move inside in the nickel defense. And um, there's a guy named Margus Hunt from SMU uh, who's um, become pretty well known in the offseason. He's from Estonia and he's a track guy. He came to the United States to, to be, uh, work on his track discus and uh, shot thrower, I think. And uh, he has tested great. He played pretty decent football down at SMU. He's got the, a great build for a 3 4 end, 6 7 and, and 300, but, uh, or a little less than 300, but he's a, he's a, he's a big man. Uh, but the problem with him is he's 26 years old, which means a couple of his best years are probably already past him. Yeah, and a guy that also has, I think, a 4.53 in the 40 as yeah, well. Yeah, remarkably so fast for a 200, and you know, I was exaggerating before, but I think he's like a 280-pound guy. Yeah. Be sure to check out Pete's story. He has all the updates there with the defensive line in today's Green Bay Press Gazette. And until next time, for Pete, I'm Wes. We'll see you later.